Congratulations on your new Ada valve. Ada valve is used to shut off a pipeline to make emergency repairs, install an isolation valve, or create a hot tap for a new branch. Ada valve avoids costly shutdowns and time consuming line freezing in just 30 to 60 minutes. A kit can be installed on a K, L, or M style copper pipe. Ada valve becomes a permanent fixture of the pipe and can be used as a line tab. In your kit, you will receive the following materials. Add a valve body, two Schrader test caps with gaskets, Loctite sealant, sealant brushes, and a sweat ball valve. To install the Add a valve, you will need the following equipment. Ratchet, crescent wrenches, 15 PSI compressed air, needle nose pliers, hammer, and a screwdriver. Verify you can install hanger supports 12 inches on center on both sides of the Atta valve. This is to eliminate any stress on the ends of the valve. Clean the pipe using an emery cloth to a shiny finish. The pipe must be completely clean before assembly. Remove the bolts holding the Atta valve together and set aside. Apply Loctite to both inner body halves and brush evenly over the entire surface, including the flange faces. You have applied enough when you can no longer see the metal. Verify that the stem cutter is fully backed out so that it will not make contact with the pipe. Then, press the two halves together. Reinstall the bolts and tighten in an X pattern. Be careful to not over tighten. Verify the seam is even on both sides. Adjust if needed. Attempting to operate the Atta valve when the halves are misaligned could cause damage to the cutter. Remove the Atta valve cutter cap and bottom cap from the Atta valve body and replace with the Schrader test caps. Apply 15 PSI of compressed air to the halves. Coat the valve with soapy water to test for leaks. If leaks are detected, retighten body halves and retest. Do not proceed until you have a bubble tight seal. When the system tests without leaks, remove the Schrader test caps and reinstall the Atta valve cutter cap and bottom cap. Ensure that the cutter does not come in contact with the pipe. Keeping steady pressure, begin turning the stem cutter until you have cut through both pipe walls. This can take up to 20 minutes to complete depending on the pipe size. Initially, the cutter will be easy to turn and spin freely. Once the cutter makes contact with the pipe, a noticeable increase in torque will be required to advance the cutter. The required torque will decrease once the cutter approaches the halfway point of the pipe. The torque will increase again as the bottom half of the pipe is cut through. When you have reached a stop ring, you have gotten to the seating position of the valve. Spin the ratchet one and a half more rotations to expand the Viton seal across the two pipe cuts. Loosen the bottom cap. There will be material trapped inside, but verify that the flow was completely stopped before fully removing the cap. To remove the slugs, take a hammer and a blunt end screwdriver and gently tap the high side of the two copper slugs into a vertical position. Remove with needle nose pliers. Back out the stem cutter to flush any debris and reseat the valve until the flow stops. Replace the bottom cap and begin the repair. When you are finished with the repair, back out the outer stem until full flow is restored. If using the 1 and 1 fourth inch through 2 inch kit, you must use two people to complete the insulation. The inner stem must be rotated 4 to 5 revolutions for every one rotation of the outer stem. If you have any questions regarding the Atta valve insulation, please contact Joe Mar Valve at 586-286-1220 or visit joemarvalve.com.